Hey, happy Friday. Welcome back to the Friday Funnies. You know, I got some good news for you this week because today, July 24th, is opening day for Major League Baseball. And I got to tell you, I am ready. Give me some peanuts and crack. Good check, because the way it looks now, we won't ever be back. It's probably the only time you'll ever hear me sing. Baseball season's pared down to 60 games, but we can't go to any of them. They're going to play all these games without any fans in the stands. What the heck is this? Part of the fun of attending a baseball game is enjoying a bag of peanuts, a hot dog, a beer, and watching the other fans. So I decided to replicate the stadium experience in my own home. I have a big screen TV, but I'm going to sit farther back so I'd get the same view from the seats I could afford. I'm also going to have, uh, I got some peanuts, I'm going to have some beer, I'm going to have some hot dogs and some additional beer, and I'll even be among fans. I'll have one blowing on me from each side, you know, to keep me cool, and, and I even tied streamers to them to, to make it more festive. And I will be wearing my mask. Granted, I am in my own house alone, but if I were at the ball game, the experience I'm trying to replicate, I'd have to wear a mask. So, check with me next week for tips on how to eat a hot dog while wearing a mask. While I enjoy the game, you enjoy the Friday Funnies. It has been said that if life gives you lemons, make lemonade and add vodka to taste. You know, in these difficult times, some professions find social distancing to be a real problem. Like, strippers come to mind, you know? Thank goodness in Houston, the Vivid Gentlemen's Club has decided to help them out by offering drive through service. That's right, you're in your car, you pull into this big tent up to a little stall or something, you watch a dancer for two songs, and then you're on your way. This is beautiful. I think it's a win-win experience. Exotic dancers are working again, and men can honestly tell their wives, I'm just going out to the drive-thru. <laughs> if you were convicted of a crime and didn't want to go to jail, what would you do? Well, Robert Berger decided to kill himself on paper. You know, he printed up a death certificate, a very official looking one, claiming suicide as the cause of his death. Then he convinced her, his fiance to deliver that certificate to his lawyer, who could then present it to the court and claim him dead. And it looked very real. It was from the New Jersey Department of Health Office and Vital Statistics and Registry. Yeah, that's how he spelled registry. Registry. Uh-oh. Typo. Now, instead of avoiding going to jail, Robert's going to go in there. And when being asked by his other inmates, hey, what are you in for? He can say, poor spelling. And I'll tell you right now, nobody in prison is going to mess with a poor speller. Congratulations, Robert Berger, our dumbass of the week. If you're planning a trip to Venice, if and when they ever let us in again, you know, be, be prepared for some changes. Because Venice is a beautiful city full of canals, and a very popular way of extracting money from tourists is to take them for a gondola ride through the canal. Now, in the past, there had, and a gondola, by the way, is a long, narrow boat, and it's rowed by a gondolier. It's very pretty. And in the past, they've allowed six passengers on that boat. Now, they're cutting it down to five. Now, I first thought this was to allow for some social distancing, but according to the Venice Gondola Association, yes, that is a real thing, tourists have gotten too darn big. And a boat full of chubbos makes that thing rock back and forth, makes it difficult for the gondolier to, st uh, to steer and could overturn. So to avoid mishaps, they're only going to allow five fat tourists on each trip. And here's the thing, if you don't get on the boat, don't worry. There's a gelato stand right at the corner for some comfort food. <laughs> That's it, my friends. I hope you're having a safe week. I hope you're protecting yourself and others the best you can. Thank you for listening. Pass these along to others. I'll see you next week. <laughs>